rolling into this campaign event. Keep me out of out of people's hair for the next uh, three or four days, but I'm going to be on the road. And I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna. It's, it's, it's kept me away a little bit, but you know, I want people to remember that what we have done has been incredible, and we get so much more. We're going to get done, and so I want to say hello to Kamala. If she can hear me, I know she's going to be speaking shortly, and I want to say to the team, embrace her. She's the best. I want to call today to thank everybody, everybody in this effort. I know yesterday's news is surprising, and, uh, and it's hard for you to hear. But it was the right thing to do. It's, uh, it, I, I know it's hard because you poured your heart and soul into me to help us win this thing, help me get this nomination, help me win the nomination, and then go on to win the, win the, the presidency. But, you know, you're an amazing team, but we've got a great, great, I think we made the right decision. I know how hard you've worked, how many sacrifices you've made. And so many of you, so many of you uprooted your lives for me and the kind of commitment few people make for anything these days. But you made it. And I've been honored and humbled. I mean, this is from the bottom of my heart. My word is abiding that for all you've done for me and my family. And you, we built the best campaign in organ, organization in history. I've been doing this. I, I always kid and say I know I'm only 40, but uh, I've been around a long time. I don't know of a better campaign organization, grassroots campaign. You know, we have over 230 offices opened. We have over 2,000 paid staff. And we have literally several thousand volunteers on a regular basis, thousands of them. And they've been relentless and tireless in reaching out and contacting voters. The leadership of this campaign has been amazing. General Malley, Dillon, Julie Quinton, Michael Tyler, Rob Flaherty, Rufus on raising money, and so many more. You built this team, you brought them together, you brought us together, you've inspired them, and, uh, and, and you've done what leaders do. Now, now we got to, you know, the name has changed at the top of the ticket, but the mission hasn't changed at all. And by the way, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be out there in the campaign with her, with Kamala. I'm going to be working like hell, both as a sitting president, getting legislation passed, as well as in campaigning. You know, what we still need to save is democracy. And Trump, Trump is still a danger to the community. He's a danger to the nation. And uh, just, just ask my foreign policy colleagues, my counterparts, and other people around the world and at home. Look, so I'm hoping you'll give every bit of your heart and soul that you gave to me to Kamala. And, uh, and, and I want you to know, I won't be on the ticket, but I'm still going to be fully, fully engaged. I've got six months left in my presidency. I'm determined to get as much done as I possibly can, both foreign policy and domestic policy. Keep lowering costs for families. Continue to speak out on guns and child care, elder care, prescription drugs and climate. Climate still is the existential threat that we face. And we have, if we don't, if we don't win this thing, it's all in jeopardy. And we got to keep working for an end to the war in Gaza. I'll be working very closely. With the, with the Israelis and with the Palestinians to try to work out how we can get the Gaza war to end and the Middle East peace and get all those hostages home. I think we're on a verge of being able to do that. And we've got to keep our alliances together. It's critically important. It took a while for me to build these alliances. Most of these are my colleagues have acknowledged that. But it's critically, critically important for our safety and security. And I know uh, I'll be doing whatever Kamala wants me or needs me to do in addition. So let me be real clear. We're still fighting in this fight together. I'm not going anywhere. And I want you to know I've always, you've always had my back. And I promise you, I will always have your back. And I'm anxious to, for you all to hear from Kamala. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Julie. You're the best. Our President Joe Biden wanted to be here today. He is feeling much better and recovering fast. And he looks forward to getting back on the road. And I wanted to say a few words about our president. Joe Biden's legacy of accomplishment over the past three years is unmatched in modern history. In one term, he has already, yes, you may clap. <laughs> in one term, he has already surpassed the legacy of most presidents who have served two terms in office. And I first came to know President Biden through his son, Bo. We worked together as attorneys general in our states. And back then, Bo would often tell me stories about his dad. 
He would talk about the kind of father and the kind of man that Joe Biden is, the qualities that Bo revered in his father are the same qualities that I have seen every day in our president. His honesty, his integrity, his commitment to his faith and his family, his big heart, and his love, deep love of our country. And I am firsthand witness that every day our President Joe Biden fights for the American people and we are deeply, deeply grateful for his service to our nation. Dear those who munch on this channel, yes, that's you, you, you and you over there. Your mission, should you choose to accept, is to get yourself to invite more people along to the 24-7 Eyes channel. Please get them to subscribe any day between Monday to Sunday before 10 p.m. November 5th. For daily roasts with a political option, an extra room for those wanting Dems on board. There will be gossip, banter, and funny bits to be shared every day as the British outsider Tony delivers non-stop what he's found round from America's political bag. This message will self-destruct and end in three, two, one.